Hi everyone, I hope you're good. So another Oracle deck arrived today and it's called the Mystic Martin Oracle. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Okay, the great sky gods have silently been visiting and monitoring earthlings since the beginning of time. This deck is designed and intended as a guide to the extraterrestrial species that transcend and coexist within the human genetic mind. Each card is beautifully designed as a symbolic and representational conduct for, for Pacific archetype and has been worked and has keywords that include metaphysical, emotional and psychological feelings and everyday practical meanings. Open your eyes and stretch your insight into far broader horizons and allow these great sky gods to impart their wise guidance and wisdom from multi-dimensional perspectives. And it's by Rockpool Publishing. Okay, so it's got part here we can just pull up oh god is it stiff no i like this kind of galactic kind of thing and in in the box it's got like a alien so if you like aliens this might appeal to you so let's have a look at the guidebook first so it's got sacred geometry linking cards Oh, let's start from the beginning. <laughs> Help. So the content, you've got an introduction, using the cards, example spreads, extra terrestrial archetypes. And then it names 24 of the ar archetypes. And then it's got sacred geometry linking cards. So it's got the air element, alchemy, crop of circles, earth element, flower of life, fire element. Golden Ratio, Kabbalah, Tree of Life, Merkah, I can't pronounce all of these, Pentagrams, Self, Shadow Self, Starseed, Third Eye, and so on and so, so forth. So let's read a bit from the introduction. We are all cosmic starseed residue of life that was birthed from wonders beyond the ordinary the extraordinary now residing within the maya of illusion hoping to be fully awakened and remembered back into our self-aware and enlightening universe the vast array of aliens is immense multi-layered and and even as times convoluted just like us young earth terran humans all et races so it must be extraterrestrial races and species have complex historical meta narratives and sub narrators. To cover the entirety of this in one deck is, is near impossible. This deck is designed and intended as a gen generic guide to extraterrestrial species that transcend and co coexist within the human genetic mind. Each card is a symbolic and representational contralute for specific archetype as all is connected from micro to macro interesting but it tells you how to use the cards i recommend the card user initially becomes acquainted with each et and linking a card individual to familiarize themselves with the cards vibrational energy before using them once you have read through the information of each card, allow some reflective time to process the meanings. Also, allow time to ponder on the images to assist you with the generalization feel of the image to resonate. This process will assist later with the intuitive, psychic understanding and insight. So it's got here an example spread, past, present and future spread. So card one represents the past and can indicate thought patterns and ways of being that may have an influence on the matters in hand card two represents the past here et may help you consider your unconscious attitudes to the situation the effect of others on the matter and possible outside forces et may help you be clear 
about any choices you need to make. Card free represents the future. Although it indicates probably probable outcomes, it doesn't predict the future, but can help you formulate a path to get to where you would like to be. Isn't that a prediction? It's a forecast. Okay, so then there's the Mariam spread here, which is a five card spread. Position one is what ET speeches am I most connected with? Card two is what does the ET see in my life purpose? Card three is what lessons do ETC I need to learn right now. Card four is where do ETC my near future oriented towards. And card five is where do the ET re not reveal themselves to me. Extra tresical archetypes. Okay, so it gives um, quite a lot about the extra terrestrial. It gives you the card meanings and the reverse meanings. So it does that for each of the cards. And when it talks about the author, Lisa Porter. So let's have a look at the author. So she's the illustrator and the author. Lisa Porter is a self-taught artist illustrator born and raised in Northampton in a teeny rural town in the isolated wheat belt area of Western Australia. She has been drawing since the age she could pick up a crayon. Her first imp inspirations come from old hand down hardcover children's books that had all inspiring Cylops, monsters and giants. Her older sibling, siblings comics were also a childhood source of visual inspiration for her. During the 90s, she was a freelance character tour artist and freelance court hearing illustrator for a newspaper. She was also a popular Caris Castor commissioned artist in the 90s. Her historic literature has been an ongoing fascination for her entire adult life. Okay, so that's a bit about the author. Okay, so let's move on to the deck. So you get this kind of rock pool card where it says you can download a free rock Paul Oracle reading cards and it tells you where to go on the on the um iPhone or Google Play Store. So these are the let's take this off, this little band. Oh they've got nice green edging. Look at that, isn't it gorgeous? Okay, so I'm gonna flip through the cards.
so it's 40 cards because i wasn't quite sure how many cards there were because it wasn't on the box i don't think okay so what do i think of this deck i'm not sure because i'm not I, i'm not really into um aliens and extra terrestrials even though i find them interesting i don't really understand it so i think i'm going to take the author's advice and actually read the guidebook and study each extra terrestrial as a daily pool before i can make up my mind but aesthetically the cards are nice they're nice cardstock quite matte i love the edging they don't look, look like it's going to come off they shuffle nice and I'm probably going to work this deck for the month of September, just for my daily pulls. See how I... Oops, a daisy! <laughs> oh dear. To see how I feel. Um, I will leave a link to this deck in the description bar. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.